What's going on guys, Zanov here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the ACE-23 Assault Rifle in Battlefield 4. Now it is one of the last Assault Rifles unlocked based on experience with the Assault Kit, and when I first was introduced to it I could not stop using it. It's a fairly good weapon to use in any situation. Now one reason it is a good all-around weapon is because of the stats it holds to its name. Before I actually get into the stats, I'm going to explain how to unlock the ACE-23. It takes a fair amount of time to get, so in order to unlock it you have to complete a series of assignments for the Assault class. The first is called Assault Basic, and it consists of getting 7 kills with any Assault Rifle and also getting 11 heals with either the Medic Bag or First Aid Pack. After you complete your Assault Basic and you have your fancy new dog tag, you will then have to complete the Assault Veteran assignment, which consists of getting 8 kills with any Assault Rifle and getting 12 heals. Of course, the progression between each assignment resets because the Assault Veteran assignment isn't unlocked until you complete the Basic Challenge. After you have completed both the Basic and Veteran assignments, you will then have been rewarded with the Assault Basic Dog Tag, and also a camo called Crimson Woodland, which looks pretty sweet in my opinion. The final assignment required to unlock the ACE-23 is called Assault Expert, which requires you to obtain 50 Med Kit Ribbons, rack up 200 kills with any assault rifle, and last but not least you need to have at least 10 assault rifle ribbons. Now I'm not going to lie to you, these are some pretty time consuming requirements, but after you have completed them you will unlock the best assault rifle in the game, stats wise anyways. Speaking of stats, I'll now get into them for this weapon. Starting off it is a 770 round per minute rate of fire. Now this is very comparable to the M416 assault rifle that you unlock very early on while progressing through the assault rifles. The ACE-23 can mow down large groups of enemies with this rate of fire, and overall I think it's perfect for this weapon. It's very average and you can pick people off from a distance by burst firing very easily with this weapon. Moving on to the damage it puts out, for a maximum damage it does 25 and for a minimum it does 18. The maximum damage is measured at close ranges only and will kill enemies within 4-5 to five shots. However, at farther distances of about 55 meters and up, it kills enemies in about 6-7 to seven shots. Now relating back to the rate of fire of 770 rounds per minute, it helps you take out enemies very quickly in close and far ranges, which in my book is always a good trait to have in a weapon. The damage drop off starts at 8 meters and goes all the way to 55 meters, where the minimum damage stands at 18. As for the muzzle velocity or how much a bullet travels after being fired from this weapon, it is measured at 620 meters a second. Now if you are using a suppressor, that number nearly splits in half with a 330 meters a second velocity. The only times where using a suppressor would be quote unquote okay would be in close quarter game types. Your bullets won't have to travel very far to reach your targets and it won't really matter too much. The magazine size for the Ace 23 is 30. However, if you do have that extra round in the chamber, it is 31 rounds. Now if you are using the ACE-52 CQB carbine rifle, it has about 26 rounds in the magazine, so in my opinion the ACE-23 is a better weapon to use all around. It fires 556 by 45 mm NATO rounds if you were curious to know. Now while we're on the topic of magazines, it takes about 3.1 seconds to do the long reload of a completely empty magazine. However, if you do have some rounds left, it will take a full second less at 2.1 seconds. I do like the reloading speed as it is very average for assault rifles to reload as fast as this weapon does. Moving on to the recoil patterns, the vertical or up recoil is 0.36, as for the left it is 0.15, and the right is 0.25. To sum it up, this weapon kicks up and can sometimes deviate to the left or right, but tends to go towards the right a little bit more. If you want to control your muzzle drift, I suggest putting on the compensator barrel attachment. If side to side muzzle drift does not bother you too much, you can always attach a muzzle brake along with a grip of your choice to sort of lower that vertical recoil. All stats aside, I think the Ace-23 is very manageable for any player to use. It's very fun to just run and gun in any game mode. Also, the stats are undoubtedly the best in the game for the assault rifles. Just about the only downside I could think of for the Ace-23 would have to be the time it takes to unlock it. That's just about all I have to say about the Ace-23 assault rifle in Battlefield 4. As always, if you have any questions regarding this weapon, make sure to leave them in the comments section down below. If you found this video enjoyable, please click the like button and subscribe for daily Battlefield 4 tips, tricks, and news. But until next time guys, this is Zainov and I'll see you in my next video.